Today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. More about them in a gif. What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Today, we're only back on Hearts of Iron 4 and I'm back in the, the Great War Redux mod because I'm going to be doing the most insane UK path that you can do in this World War 1 uh, modification for the game that is known as Hearts of Iron 4. And if you enjoy these videos, if, uh, leaving a like, a comment and subscribing is all very much appreciated. I thank you very much. Do you know what's even better? than comment liking and subscribing well that's looking after your own privacy and security and that leads me on to today's sponsor nord vpn nord vpn is officially the fastest vpn on the planet according to the test run by av test a respected and independent it security institute nord vpn edges out all of the other popular vpns in terms of speed so there you go so nord vpn isn't just a vpn it's an all-round cyber security brand it also offers such things as threat protection, which conceals your IP and cloaks your virtual location, shields your data traffic and protects you from various cyber attacks. There's also the Nord Pass, which is a passport manager, which generates strong passwords and stores them in a secure vault. And there's also the Nord Locker, a secure cloud storage, which keeps your files encrypted and accessible from anywhere. Oh, and did you know NordVPN also protects against man-in-the-middle attacks, phishing, password attacks, DDoS, malware, maladvertising and ransomware? That's quite a lot of stuff. It's not just a VPN. Even though VPN's in the name, it's, it's, it's more than that. I've used NordVPN many times before, especially when I'm travelling at airports. It, it, it gives me a lot of peace of mind to know that I have that little bit of added extra protection. So with my exclusive deal, if you purchase a two-year plan, then you'll get an additional four months absolutely three how about that get an exclusive vpn deal at nordvpn.com slash alex the rambler it's risk-free with nord's 30-day money-back guarantee so let's jump into it what we're doing today kablamo we'll be starting in the 1910 start date playing as herbert henry asquith and the british empire is still at its zenith controlling a massive amount of territory in africa asia and the americas through both direct rule and the dominions yet the uk still has one continent yet to be mastered Europe. Yes, 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 yes. So we have a fleet at rest, uh, uh, overextension, and the Lord's opposition, which is going to cost us a lot in political power. We could also go for watching out the Brit. The, 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 look out, Yanks, the British are coming. But what I'm actually going to be doing today is going down the route of. Bum, 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 bum. Um, petition for the German alliance. We're going to try and uh, join Germany to take out France. Won't that be fun, everyone? Haha! <laughs> we could also go down this route and uh, join the Central Powers, but we're just going to petition for a German alliance. We're going to have the Eternal Kingdom. Are we going to resurrect the Avingian claim? Because I want, I want Normandy, Brittany, Loire, and Aquitaine under my command. So to begin with, we'll just start with construction and grenades. Yes. And we'll continue the Pax Britannica. So the Pax Britannica was a great era where Britain became the world's first and only hyperpower, conquered the jewel of India, punctured deep into the riches of China, and we acquired large slaves of land in Africa. Yes. I wonder how many divisions we start with. 28. A lot of them will be kind of colonial troops that I'll just bring back. And let's start work on a few more civilian factories before we switch over to our military industrial complex maybe five on guns there we go we want lots of artillery i don't think we'll be lacking for convoys but just in case but yeah our navy's pretty beefy i don't think anyone can really challenge us in the seas so our dreams of an avengian empire may come to fruition sooner rather than later note from the british dev oh hello there are 100 new events loads of new portraits and a few new easter eggs japan wants non-aggression we've got some dockyards freed up let's get some sub Marines, shall we? The death of Edward the Seventh. Oh, goodbye. Oh, uh, this is just going to be uh, like attritional warfare, I think, as per usual. It'd be hilarious if Germany didn't let me in their faction. I don't think they'd deny me, would they? Continue the Pax Britannica. I can't do the royal prerogative yet. Fallen government is the country's leader. Now, how do I get the fallen government? I legitimately don't know. Do I want to intervene in the Chinese rebellion? No. Instead, I'll do the legacy of the industrial revolution and get some extra infrastructure and a couple of civilian factories in Gloucestershire. Ah, Gloucestershire's a nice area of the country. Maybe if you ask them nicely, the government will fall. I guess that's what we'll have to go for. Just ask them politely. Hey, Get out of here, you bastards. Slowly going down in popularity. Oh, the best. Yes, I am the best. Around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. 
Concentrated industry. Then we'll start on our fleet and being doctrine. Yes. Yes, good, 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 good. Got no country left behind. No county, sorry, not no country. Just getting our economy sorted out a little bit. But if we take a look at this, yeah, the Pax Britannica's a bit... Uh, daily democracy support goes down, which is nice. Naval arms race. Lord's opposition. That's really, really awful. Stop blocking my rule, ya bastards. As we can see, Mexico's had its revolution. And it looks like they're probably going to have another. It's Mexico. I guess I can't do any national focus for a while if I want to, like, go ahead and get one of these. Let's see if there is one available, but first let's get my research sorted out before we lose any days. The mortars, and there's not really a whole lot I can do here. Sunny Jim, damage control. Yeah, is anyone familiar with how we can speed up the fallen government? Research atomic weapons. I'm not even sure they'd be familiar with what that is. Don't you know what year it is? It's 1911. That's why it would be such a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Her Majesty's airship number one, the Mayfly. Why not? I want the Mayfly. Yes, let me produce a Mayfly. I'm running out of build slots in the UK already. Yeah, the UK seems pretty, pretty good in this mod so far. Oh, we've got the Socialist Unity Conference. Okay, that'll help a little bit. There's still 81% though. How do I get more? I need more. When will I have my fallen government? Okay, I'm looking on the Hoi4 Reddit for the Great War Redux on how to get the fallen government. Elect Liz Truss. Oh, for God's sake. Pork markets. I think we just have to wait for several years. Our entrepreneurs return from... Uh, uh, sorry, old chaps. <laughs> the British passed legislation preventing us from seeking further investment. Yeah, go away, Greece. I'm not investing in you. Meanwhile, I guess I'm thinking of getting infrastructure in Wales, of all places, because I've run it. I'll leave Scotland as it is. No! Do you know what? Max infrastructure for the Highlands. The rest can just... They'll be alright. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Ooh, the Lee Enfield. We've got the new frontier. Unlock spirit of the Air Force. Yes, I do want to conquer the air. Oh, right. And because I've got my big, chonky, rigid airship bomber, the Mayfly. Yes. Give me some of them babies. Oh, wow. Look at, look at, look at my beastly navy. Now I'm getting 2.3 naval experience a day. The Irish home rule debate continues. Moving on. Okay. Let them have their home rule for all I care. Can I release any of these nations? Sacre blur, it won't let me. Apart from Malta. The Royal Flying Corps? Yes. I would like to get fighters very early. Thank you. And we've researched marines now too. Everything's coming up. Rambler. 99 red balloons. Bombing France. Having fun. All oh, right, I could sell equipment. I could almost, I could always buy equipment as well. Not that I really want to. I feel like that's a feature that, as a major nation, you don't really need to use in Hoy very much. Oh, it didn't give me the, the research bonus. You freaking what? I guess they haven't updated that with all of the new fighter and the air rework. What a shame. Oh, here we go. Earlier today, suffragette radical Mary Lee hurled a hatchet directly at the Prime Minister with the intention of creating agitation and unrest. So the hatchet could miss its target or we're going to have, my God, the Prime Minister is dead. So now we have George Law, Joy, George, Lloyd, David Lloyd George, who dislikes Germany, but I like Germany. So the Pax Britannica will continue. Damn it, I want fallen government. I want the fallen government. Let's invest in Canada. Henry Asquith has assassinated, is assassinated. The emperor is dead. The hatcher cleaved the prime minister straight in the forehead and he was pronounced dead at the scene. <laughs> oh dear. David Lloyd George declares martial law. Okay, I think we're going to be having that fallen government sooner rather than later. I guess I'm going to max out my naval doctrines now. There we go. I can dock them <laughs> for the rest of the game. Well, I've got my full doctrine in 1912. Lovely stuff. Oh, we've got the collapse of the liberal government. Lovely stuff. Fall of the British government. <gasps> da, 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 da. Worrying implications. Okay, the king must do something. Lovely stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, kingy, the royal prerogative. Here we go. It's sports time. In the wake of the great neutrality crisis, our governmental structures have crumbled, leaving a vacuum of power and direction. The people's king emerges as a beacon of hope, determined to steer our nation away from the quagmire of continental conflicts and restore stability under the manner of the royal prerogative. Yes. What size are the infantry divisions? They're 44 combat width. I think I'll remove... A bit of that. Is it worth sticking in a howitzer? Hmm, not to begin with, I don't think. But I should probably change these marines around. How many divisions of marines can I get? Six. Not great, not terrible. I'm getting lots of airship bombers, though. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. 
The King of Greece is assassinated. We're going to have offensive doctrine for our field marshal there. Artillery expert. Lovely. We love a big kaboom. God save the king, I think. Or I could have the red banner in London. No, God save the king. With unwavering loyalty and a fervent belief in the sanctity of the monarchy, we stand united under his majesty's command. Even when I'm not trying to do a specific monarchist playthrough, it just tends to happen, doesn't it? George V asserts the royal prerogative. King Emperor George V has asserted his royal powers and taken direct control of the country. By his majesty's will. Shall we have third positionism? Absolutism. To entrench his majesty's rule. There we are. I think I'm gonna need this. So although it's 700 days, we're just gonna go for it. 150,000 orange men mobilized in Ulster. They're rebelling to stay, so we get the orange order. Hmm. Now we'll get the first lord of the admiralty, which adds Winston Churchill, which grants division on core territory. Oh. The British Bulldog. Yes, he's displayed stunning courage in unconditionally supporting his majesty's decisions. He will make a fine puppet prime minister. <laughs> yes. Good. Can Bulgaria win alone? Uh, the short answer, everyone, is no. Bulgaria is absolutely screwed. Ah, we need to arrest Sir Edward Grey, so now I'll do by order of the king. Royal militias will be organised throughout the country and put down democratic and socialist dissidents wherever it rears its ugly heads. God, this is like a proper, proper takeover. <laughs> Oof. Oh, we've got the second recon plane. Okay. And I'm running, I'm running out of things to build. Unless I've got any build slots anywhere. I guess down in Africa we'll start building more military factories. Industry must flow. I just want to get over 500 ships. Is that going to be an over 500 ship navy? Yes. 503, 63 battleships, including 199 destroyers. Lovely stuff, lovely, lovely. By order of the king, I will arrest Sir Edward Grey as the architect of our predicament. When he resigned in the face of global conflict, he must be arrested, tried, and stripped of all his titles. Yes. We'll add in army legit. Oh, yeah. Herbert Kitchener, division attrition, negative 12%. Oh, lovely. But a fire at civilian factories. Damn. Can I finally do this? The Eternal Kingdom. Yes. God save our gracious king. Long live our noble king. And God save the kingdom. I will appoint the Prince of Wales to military postings. Okay. <laughs> Can he take over some? Can he take... Um... Yes, go on then. Goodbye to my decent field marshal. Hello to the <laughs> one. Go on, Princey. Show us what you're made of. I'm an anti-democrat. Not in real life, sorry, I should specify that. In the game. Oh, got away with that one. Let's do resurrect the Avengian claim. It cannot, it must not be forgotten that his majesty is not only the King of England, Scotland, Ireland, but also the Duke of Normandy. Yes. Good, 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 good. Does that mean I can then justify? Oh, I need more world tension. It's currently at 11%. Bloody Nora. Ugh, they never let me have anything fun. Oh, I guess I had to live in Vancouver, which is the no fun city. Mass worker protests. I'll tire of making noise. But let's research hand grenades just in case they don't. Not that I, they just as a deterrent. Yeah, let's do that. Britain wants to join the Alliance. Let me in, Germany. Franz Ferdinand has been assassinated. <sighs> God rest his soul. Indeed, indeed. Is World War One going to kick off? Mobilization across Europe? God, I hope I'm not asking for much. No, let it let it happen. Let the mobilization happen. If you're wondering why I'm doing everything about a military industrial complex, it's because it costs PP, and I've been lacking PP this whole game. Has anything happened? Oh, it, it, whoa, 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 we were, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Kingdom of Serbia joins the Entente. Lovely. Austro-Hungarian monarchy declares war. Serbia refuses Austrian demands. And it's all it's all kicking off. Could I just ask to join the faction? No. But once we do join, this is going to be fun. The Great War has kicked off. The war to end all wars. Kingdom of Belgium joins the Entente. So that's as Luxembourg. The German invasion of Belgium, indeed. Luxembourg's capitulated. Oh man, imagine if Germany just like plows through and I don't even get a chance to do anything. How elite are my starting divisions? I don't think they're too shabby. This is the current division template. So we got four artillery in each one and lots of infantry. And we just finished research of hand grenades, which is always a lovely one. James, uh, okay. Fat bastard. What the f- Oh my goodness. He was so overweight that his face would go red if he bent over due to blood pressure. His staff were armed with pen knives to stab him in order to let blood out if necessary. I have never seen this event. <laughs> uh, but it looks like I am now in the Central Powers. Sacre bleu, Chateau Neuf de Pape. France, 
get wrecked, son. While I can't get any troops, the naval invasion has not worked to my... Oh, it may not matter. Let's send our army over to northern... Oh. Oh, they actually... Uh, I actually got through, despite losing the port. Attack! Death! Are my troops helping? We are sort of helping. How many days am I... I'm still 227 days away from doing an extra... Well, why don't we convoy raid them in the meantime? Yeah, I'm going to convoy raid all of France. Oh! Sacre bleu, we've done an encirclement. I hope this won't be the end of the focus tree, just with France dying. But without the UK in uh, in the Entente, then... I think there's only one route this is going to go. Probably the baddies. No, 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 I'm restoring what's rightfully mine, you see. I'm restoring the Empire. I am the Duke of Normandy. I am the Duke of York and the... I play the trombone. Well, we're having a lovely time just to sinking everyone's convoys. We're struggling to push, though. Who would have thought that trench warfare would be this brutal? But that's okay, I have lots of spare equipment. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot I can call in everyone. I wonder what they'll do, if anything. Or when will Italy join the war? Man. Oh, we've almost pushed through in Cambrai. Exciting times here. Only on the Alex the Rambler channel. We're having fun bombing. Let's switch the bombing over here. Yeah, it's good. Bomb it all. Oh, Russia's actually... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. They've done that, at least. But yeah, I'm surprised at how Russia is doing against Austria-Hungary. There we go. Close air support. Not that that's going to do a whole lot until we get more of them. More! I want more! I would love to raise my conscription limit once we can. Oh, why don't we try and get Portugal then? And Japan. Aha! Japan's joined the Central Powers. Lovely. This looks gross, but I think Russia's probably going to collapse, and then it's just France to take care of. Oh, we've done the landing barge, so now we'll wait another 49 days to launch that. I can also give myself another land doctrine, and change it over to limited conscription, and... Royal Armament Factories. Uh-oh. Treaty of London. Italy is now our enemy, and they should advance in. Yes. No, no. Keep going. Keep going, you fools. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so let's see if seven divisions is going to be enough for this to take Sherberg. How many divisions do they have? 1,200 defense on one tile. I don't know how I'm meant to naval invade that, lads. Any suggestions? Get the left and right tiles. Yeah, that we may have to do. I was like, hoping to not bother. Da -da 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 -da. Creamy lose the master of naval invasions. Praise be the cream. That sounded weird. It's time to micro, 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 micro. Hoo-hoo! That's a five division encirclement right there. I'll eat that for breakfast. We are going to Paris. We are at Paris. The Entente surrenders. Um, okay. Just as the Kingdom of Siam joins the Entente. Well, I have to admit, I was hoping for more of a fight. Well, let's see what comes of this. Maybe I can have another war? Because this is over way too quick. The war is over, and my divisions are apparently stuck. Is there an extension so I can keep doing things? Hello? Is that really it? Maybe I can add extra tension and just manually justify. I cannot declare wars. But I'm just getting frag grenades. I'm just getting frag grenades. Come on. Russia's still intact, though. I'm looking forward to seeing what this Frankfurt conference does. I better get my claims. Stop going down, world tension. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, I need to denounce the truce. Oh. <gasps> yes! I did get the claims. Look at how glorious that looks. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now, how do I denounce this truce? Interbellum. I don't know what interbellum is. France denounces new army restrictions. Well, let me denounce the truce then. What happened to France's colonies? I think they're all still basically intact. Oh, Germany. Germany got a chunk. Germany got a bigger chunk than... I didn't get anything. But yeah, France got to keep most of their colonies. The Ottoman Empire is still intact too. So I can't denounce the truce because we're interbellum. And world tension is now zero. But what if I want more, more of France? It, it'd be using the console now, right? If I want to continue this. Lombardy Venetia. Look at that. They are a crown land of Austria-Hungary. <laughs> so what would it be? There we go. I want it all. And I want... Does France no longer have an army? Oh, they don't have any divisions. I feel a bit bad now. I had to cheat in order to do that. <laughs> so 
I think that's the playthrough done. So if you've enjoyed seeing Great Britain rise, this is probably the most cursed Great Britain you'll probably see. Oh yeah, look at that. France doesn't need to exist. France is just Great Britain now. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more content very soon. Bye-bye. Many thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder to get a two-year plan plus four months bonus at nordvpn.com slash alextherambler. That's nordvpn.com slash Alex the Rambler. Thank you. Many thanks to Jack Troku, Chancellor64, Haigu, Logan Whaley, Salty Badger, and Wyatt Green for being cult leaders and champions on the Patreon. And many thanks to all of the channel members, Twitch subscribers, and other patrons too. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Ta-ta.